Hello everybody. Some of you may be a little put off by the fact that I have a mirror for a face, which is perfectly fine. This is just a $3 prop. It helps to obscure my features and is the jumping point from which we will start this conversation. I am any man. Now the idea behind any man is multifaceted and complex, so I'll try to simplify it. Any man is more of a philosophy. Sure, I call myself a real-life superhero or extreme altruist, whatever you want to call it. And I am one person, and I do work out of uh, one location. But this is a philosophy. And the philosophy is simple. Any man does what any man can. That's anything, any place, any time, bar nothing. First of all, it's a philosophy that keeps me safe. After all, should I face reprisal from some criminal element, it would be foolish of them to try to attack someone they don't even know. Just some random person off the street who, for all they know, could be one of their new or current uh, clients. So they really have no one to target. Not to mention the fact that I could be any number of people from any walk of life with any background, from professionals to amateurs, from highly educated college graduates to high school dropouts. I could be anyone, and I, there could be more than one of me. And I could do anything, at any place, at any time, and there are no exceptions. But here's the, where it gets interesting. I mentioned before that this is a philosophy, and it is. It's a philosophy of self-reliance, community, and power to the people, standing up against the elite. Elitists come from all walks of life and are of all different kinds and calibers, but one thing that they share in common is that they believe that they are inherently superior. This belief stems from, an, ironically, their insecurity. They think there is something about them lacking that they need to compensate for, and for that reason they build this self-image of a superior individual. But they know deep down inside that they're inadequate, or at least they believe that they're inadequate. And so, they'll use any means necessary to convince other people to do for them what they want done, and to get for them what they want to receive. It could be by force, it could be by coercion, it could be by manipulation alone. Elitists are, can be found in any government, in any corporation, or among any number of criminals in any prison in the world. They can be the ones we label good guys and the ones we label bad guys. But the thing is, they don't really have all the power they pretend to have to intimidate us and to coerce us into doing their will. No. They don't have all that power. We are the power. You and I. We are the people. And it's the people that they need to do things for them so that they can continue to operate and function. We have the power. We are the power. I love this one line from uh, Charlie Chaplin's movie, The Great Dictator. And if you ever want some uh, inspiration, this is a great movie to watch. He says, in the 17th chapter of St. Luke, it is written, the kingdom of God is within man, not in one man, nor in a group of men, but in all men, in you, 
you, the people, have the power. The power to create machines. The power to create happiness. You have the power to make this life free and beautiful. To make this life a wonderful adventure. You have the opportunity to become any man. Sure, you might feel scared. I mean, what's going to happen when you face a gang of ten? Ten on one are not that great of a set of odds. Ten on ten? It's a little better. But ten on a hundred? Now we're talking. A hundred on a thousand? A thousand million on a billion? I have some pretty lofty goals. Chances are you did at one time too, but you decided to throw them out because they seemed unrealistic for one person. And they were. One person can only take care of themselves and maybe somebody else. But imagine what ten people can do. Scattered throughout any area. Working together toward a common goal, a common end game. Imagine what a hundred can do. A thousand. Imagine how much better we can make this world. You and me, working together. And you don't have to have great skills or great powers. All you have to have is the will. Because just doing what anybody can do, you can make a major difference. Don't feel like you can beat up a thug? That's okay. Talk to the cops. The cops could be any man too. You could be any man. Don't feel like uh, facing the corporate fat cats who put you in a position of near slavery. That's okay. Talk to the press. The press could be any man, and so can you. There are needs all around us. And we may not be Bruce Wayne or Clark Kent. We may not be Charles Xavier. We may not be even Frank Castle. But what we are is a group of people who can learn and who can improve ourselves. And in so doing, we can make our lives better. And in so doing, we can hook up with like-minded people and make each other's lives better. And in so doing, we can find other people out there in need. And we can make their lives better and we can encourage them to do the same, to pay it forward. Now as for me, personally, I have skills and studies and training and experience in a variety of areas, mostly in the fields of psychology and ministry and counseling. And I read up on a wide variety of topics. Personally, I'm very out of shape, but I'm working on it. I'm working on getting in shape. And I'm doing pretty well for myself for that regard. I don't make a lot of money, but what I do make, I tend to spend a lot on other people, on the homeless, on children's toy drives, on canned food drives. I give blood regularly, or at least semi-regularly, whenever I can. You know, when my neighbors need help with their yard, I'm there to help them. When I see crime taking place, I call the cops, and I can gather as much information as I can before I call the cops so they know what to look for. Rarely have I ever been called upon to step in on any sort of situation. But when it does happen, I will be prepared. And I will do my best, and I may fail. But like one popular old Christian song says, the saints are just the sinners who fall down and get up. And really, what's the difference between you and a saint? The will to try. Do you have that will? Chances are you do. 
You can be any man. You don't need to put on a mask. I don't even operate in a mask. This is just a, a gimmick to make a point. You see, should I ever encounter violent crime and step in and successfully stop it, this is what the criminal is bound to see. They're going to see their own face staring back at them. They're going to have to answer to themselves for letting themselves down. And probably all kinds of other people too. My point here, though, is not that I have any power. Or that I am so great. Or that this is even my idea. Heck, Anonymous was doing this before I ever came on the scene. Let me tell you what my point is. My point is that it's about time that we realize the true power of any man. That power is in self-improvement. That power is in the will to try. That power is in doing what any of us can do in any situation in which we are called upon to do it. Whether people actually ask for our help or it's just implied by the state they're in. After all, peril invites rescue. The power is in all of us working together toward a common end, toward a common goal. I am any man. I could be any man. Any man does what any man can. Any man, anywhere, anything, anytime, bar nothing. That's what people will know about me. And about you, should you take up this role. But here's what I want you to know about all of us. You and me. All of us together. Because, really, I don't matter. I might as well not exist. This is what matters. You have the power. You are the power. Use it wisely. And use it well.